Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence. social relationship happened thousands of years ago and it occurred between God and his followers. Today I want to explore the idea of being attached to the idea of a person who doesn't even know you exist. Our first case study is at this house. The house of a man who genuinely believes he's in love with Jack Nicholson. What's going down? Hello? Oh buddy hell. Got nothing. This man's a psychopath. Come on. Okay. We're in his kitchen. Ah. Seen that? I think I know who that is. That's Jack Nicholson. That's Jack Nicholson. This guy's got Jack Nicholson everywhere. Oh my. God. Look at that. <laughs> Jack is back. It's Christmas time. Before we go any further, just uh, prepare for anything. This man's clue. This man's clue. He's psycho. Did, did you get that? We're here with uh, Jack Frost. Jack Frost, everybody, here he is. Uh, so yeah, when when did it all begin? So so yeah yeah, just tell me tell me a little bit about you know Jack Nicholson, your favorite guy. Talk about him. Um, he's a kind man. He really is a gentle soul. You know, he's always there to, to lend a, a, an ear. Let me go straight. You're saying, uh... you saying he's listening to you? Yeah. Always. What's, what's that about? He's a nice man. You see that? You see that? It's so yeah, it's a signed, it's a signed photo of the uh, Jack, of Jack. I got it. I got a fever. We're taking that. We're taking that. We're taking that. We're, we're. Oh shit! Not. Listen, uh, Jack, M Mr. Frost, uh, even. Jack Nicholson's a celebrity, and you're a. How do I put it? You're a common. You're a common man. Remember when Britney Spears dated her backup dancer? It's like that because you see, once I I was actually um um I was actually an an extra 
on one floor of the cuckoo's nest. I have a photo. Actually. I love that film. All right, it's great. Uh, I have a photo actually. Um, I'll best show it to the camera. I think. Oh, no, right. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. No, it's okay. Right. Okay. No, okay. it's okay. It's no. right here. Oh, no, no, that's not it. No, no, I'll get away. What? It's, look, I'm. You okay? I'm there. What's he showing you? You can do it in post. Uh, it's okay. What's he showing you? Private. You can get rid of that. It's all. It's all staying in. It's all staying in. What's the deal with this guy? So pretty. So, uh, what things do you and Jack Nicholson typically talk about? Oh, we talk all the time. We're constantly exchanging messages. Although he hasn't messaged me for a while since I transferred that money. But he's going to any day now, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you something. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Maybe it's somewhere else. I like Jack Nicholson. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I can do a great Jack Nicholson impression. We're not doing this. But we can do it. Uh, we can do it. We're not doing, doing it. We're doing a great Jack Nicholson impression. It's gonna, we're going to do it. You ready? Okay. Okay. So it's like, I burst through the door. Bruce Wayne is there. The Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Is this going to take much longer? I need to give my dog some medication soon. Otherwise, he's going to die. Uh, how long? How long have we been here? You, uh, at the beginning of this interview, you told us your name was, uh, Jack Frost, uh, they checked your credentials, man, they didn't check Frost. Yeah, no, that won't, sorry, I, I, sometimes I lie when I get nervous. My neck is, my, my, my name is David. Was kick. Uh, David, David Bosnick. You ever seen uh, Anger Management? That's my favorite film. The true tragedy of this whole situation is just how real those feelings can be. Obviously, they're never fully realized. 
As we come further into the digital age, we're being continuously hounded by hundreds of different personalities a day, and it's hard to identify what attachments are healthy and what are just borderline delusions. And so what if at the time it seems a little dysfunctional? People cope in different ways. Really, when it comes down to it, the topic itself isn't up for much discussion, whether it's healthy or not. It's more about the well-being of the person. If it helps you escape the loneliness that has become ever-present in a connected world, then so be it. Especially for people who are still in the process of finding who they are. These personalities online may even come across as positive role models, even more so because you'll find that they only want you to see their good side. If a person is mature enough to realise that the relationship is parasocial, then it isn't a problem. The Cleveland Clinic put it better than I ever could. Parasocial relationships aren't good or bad. They just are. So, uh, any last words? Uh, I was very lonely growing up. I didn't have many friends. And I would just watch Jack Nicholson films. And they made me feel happy. You know, they kind of they filled that hole. And I think as I just grew up, I just I, I became more comfortable with that idea, mm. and and I can understand now that it, it might have spiraled out a bit too much, and and maybe I've I've gone a bit too far. It's just hard sometimes to um, come to grips with the fact that maybe you know you're. You're not perfect. You're, there are things wrong, and there are things that you need to work on. And I think that's what I need to do. I think that's what you've helped me figure out today. Mm. Um, but I think we all, we all can work on ourselves and strive to be better, right? Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Thousand percent. Thousand. It's more than. Way more, like ten. I, I I was in touch with a doctor recently, a buddy Rydell. Gentlemen, right. let's broaden our minds. Lawrence. Who? Buddy Ry Buddy Rydell. You don't. <laughs> <laughs>